Hello, this is Kai and I'd like to present you some features of OpenHub version 2 in this uh, short screencast. So on our website you will find the news that we've just released the very first alpha version of OpenHub 2 release. This link will bring you to our GitHub repository where you can find uh, two downloads. The one is a minimal runtime, the other is a standard runtime, and uh, in this screencast I want to uh, demonstrate you the minimal runtime. This is actually um, a very yeah, small small version of uh, OpenHub 2, which uh, does not bring any DSL support, so no textual uh, configuration, but uh, it's good uh, for highlighting the features of the new kinds of bindings uh, like auto-discovery and self-description uh, as well as uh, showing you the very new um, paper UI which is um, yeah, in a very early state but uh, meant to be a configuration UI for future OpenHub. So let's start with downloading this package. Okay, now that we're done here, we can switch to our download folder where we find the file. We create an OpenHub folder and simply unzip the package into here. So you see the package comes with a couple of bindings for Sonos, for Yahoo Weather, Philips U, Belkin Vimo, LiveX, and also with the new paper UI. So all there is to do is to start up the runtime and one of the very first things you will notice when going to uh, your server running here on localhost is that uh, OpenUp comes with a new uh, entry screen uh, which makes it easy for you to find uh, the clients that are available. For this minimal runtime actually only the paper UI makes uh, sense to use here. So let's have a look at that. So one of the main concepts of uh, OpenUp 2 is uh, the notion of a thing. A thing is really a um, physical device or a service that you can add and uh, configure uh, for your own system. To handle things uh, we introduced a new service called the Inbox uh, where automatically discovered things are, are placed and uh, you can decide uh, whether or not you want to use them and how you want to use them. So if we have a look at the inbox, we see already that the Yahoo Weather binding put us a service into it, uh, which um, yeah is the local weather based on the IP address uh, that we have. Now, other bindings also come with their own discovery service, and um, I have a setup here. Um, a couple of devices, so I actually have a Belkin Vimo switch here which I can plug in. I have a Philips U bridge uh, that is currently not connected to the network. I can plug it in so that it connects. I have a Sonos speaker which I can connect to the network. And a uh, LiveX bulb which I can power on so that it uh, is connected to the network. Okay, so all of these devices uh, actually support auto-discovery. So if we switch back to our inbox, we see that after powering on, we actually have all these uh, available here. So the Philips Hue system, LiveX bulb, Sonos, the Waymo switch, uh, and so on. Now we can simply say, well, okay, let's Use LiveX, please. Use Sonos. Use the Vimo. Use the Weather. And uh, also use the Philips Bridge. There's actually um, one special thing about Philips U system. It's not the device itself that we want to control here, which is actually the bulb, but it's the bridge that we've just added. But now we see after adding the bridge, we get new inbox entries again. So if we do a reload here, we see, okay, now it found automatically the bulbs that are connected 
to the bridge and uh, this one that we've set up here is called my lamp which uh, is the name given inside the bridge so we can just accept that as well now the things that are created um, we can go to the configuration tab of the things it actually now explains uh, what kind of features they have we call that channels so this uh, u bulb has a color channel and a color temperature channel we can choose which functionality we actually want to use let's say well color is nice color temperature as well and um, after activating these channels we can directly go to control and use the light Okay, I can also here use it for the color temperature. You see, 100% is very warm. Um, further down, it's cold. So we have direct control of it just by activating the channels on our thing. So the same we can, of course, do for our other things. The LifeX bulb has a color channel. Let's add that. The Sonos player can show us the current title and offer a play switch. Okay. The Vimo has a switch to turn it on and off. Um, weather information, we're interested in the temperature only. Now, here in control, we can. Control Live X, we can control U, we can start and stop the Sonos player, see what it's currently playing. We can switch the Vimo and so on. Okay, so this is really, really just a brief introduction, and uh, I hope you can see how, how easy it is uh, with these new concepts to um, to get access. Uh, to your to your devices and uh, to set them up very very easily and quickly thank you